Hello, in this lesson we're going to be making a stool. Right, so just to give you an idea of what the stool is roughly going to look like, it's not going to look completely like this, but something similar. It's going to have a square top, which is going to be about 40 by 40 centimetres. Uh, it's going to be square, but it's going to have rounded corners, as you can see up in the top corner there. And it's going to be 70 centimetres off the floor. So let's go to SketchUp and make a start on that. Okay, in SketchUp, make sure you create new, make a simple template with metres. Okay, let's start by drawing our square uh, seat on the, for the stool. Start by drawing a rectangle and do 40 by 40 centimetres, so 0 0.4 metres, comma, 0 0.4 metres. And we have our basic, so basic square, let's zoom in a bit. To start with, we're going to put some guidelines on um, so that we can get the rounded corners nice and even. So click the tape measure tool and go to the center point on any line, start drawing in, and I'm going to make that 0 .5, uh, 0.5 meters. So we've got a guideline there, so five centimeters in. You'll see the point of this in a minute, another one on this side, 0 0.50 meters. Okay, so those guidelines will help us get a nice um, curved, symmetrical curved edges. So corners, I should say. So if we go to the arc tool here, the two point arc tool, click one intersection, go to the other, double click, and it will automatically take off that corner for you. So uh, click there, oh, no. if you get that problem, just uh, deselect it by using the uh, click outside. Go back in, two point arc, there, 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 and then click it again. So click there, click there, and then click one more time there, and you'll get the rounded corners. Okay, next we are going to uh, draw up the uh, thickness of the chair, because at the moment it's like it's completely thin. It's, it's got no thickness, as you can see, so we need to draw it up. So we're going to click on the push-pull tool, look in the middle, and we're going to bring it up to five centimeters. Okay, so there's the there is the uh, basic seat for our stool. It's going to be. It's not going to have any um, indentations on it like on, on, like on our model. Oh no, our one, that one, that one's flat actually. But a normal chair, we normally have in, indentations for the uh, buttocks, but we won't. We can't really do that with the skills we have at the moment. One small thing worth mentioning: SketchUp for schools is fantastic, but it doesn't have some of the more advanced tools that a paid-for version of SketchUp would have. Um, but this is it's great for what we want to do. So I'm going to orbit underneath. Now we can use these guidelines to help us decide where we're going to have our legs. Okay, before we draw any legs, what we're going to do is select all of the seat and we're going to right click on it and make it a group. Now what this does is it stops um, two different objects interacting and, and messing each other up. When we're, when we're happy that it's, that is what the seat's going to be look, going to look like, we can make it a group so that it stops interacting with the other um, pieces elements that we put on the chair. So that's now a group. So now when we draw our legs, there shouldn't be too much um, interaction between them, which I know some people have had a problem with. Okay, so we're going to draw some legs. This is the bottom of our seat. We're going to draw some legs coming out of it. So I'm going to take the rectangle tool, go to that corner there, and the legs are going to be four centimeters thick. So 0 0.4, sorry, I'm going to type it in 0 0.04 meters by 0 0.04 meters. Press enter. And you've got chilly. In fact, that looks a little bit thin. I'm going to change that to 0 0.05 meters. 0 0.05 meters. That's slightly better. Okay, so I'm going to push pull this leg out, and we said 70 centimeters for this leg. So I'm going to start bringing it out, and then I'm going to type in 0 0.70 meters, and we have our leg. Now, the next bit we haven't done before, uh, so pay close attention because this is quite complicated. Triple click the leg. One, two, three. It's selected the whole leg. Now right click on it and press make component and call it uh, leg. Now we're not going to draw the other legs. We're going to create a copy of this component um, so that all the changes we make to one leg will automatically be done to the other leg and it's going to save us a lot of work. Now we're not going to do um, we're not just going to simply move and copy this, and I'll show you why. If I were to click on, um, sorry, let me select the leg. Right, so if I were to just simply click it, control, and move it over here, 
I'm going to use my arrows on my keyboard to lock the axis. There we go. If I were to just do this, that looks good. But the problem is, if I now make a change to this leg, so let's, uh, let's try and move this bottom face here. It does it in a way, it, it moves one leg in one direction, and it moves the other copy in the sa exactly the same way. But we know that a stool, its legs should go outwards. If one goes outwards one direction, the other should go outwards in the other direction. So if we simply do it like, the, like that, the way I've just shown you, it's not going to work. So I'm going to undo all of that, undo that. Okay, so this time, this is the new skill we've not learned before. It's called a rotation tool. Um, and you, you will hopefully you'll understand the point of this once you see it in action. Right, so uh, let me just uh, sort out my view here. So start by clicking the leg just to make sure it's selected. Now go to the move uh, button, but select the rotate button. Now this will won't make sense to start with, but you, hopefully you'll see what I'm doing in a minute. Now this this protractor here is is going to help us do rotations. So what we're going to do is we're going to find a center point so that everything's rotated around the exact center point. And to do that, we need to take it up. We did this on one of our lessons, I think not lesson two with the roof. You're going to go to find the center, and you're going to come down. Now I want you to hold down shift on your keyboard and take it over to the other side until you've got the midpoint there. Can you see the blue dot underneath my cursor? And then click. Okay, so what we've done is we found the exact center of the stool. Now, click the leg with the cursor, and you'll see that it rotates around and around and around. Exactly what we want it to do. Right, so get it back to where it was. Now, I'm going to press Control one time, click it once, and we get a copy of the leg rotating around. Now, you put it there. Before you do anything else, type in times three or x three times three and you'll see in the bottom left hand corner sorry bottom right hand corner that's gone gone in and i press enter it makes three copies so there's the first one and then two more so three copies of the leg okay let's save that all right this is great now what happens now if i try and move something so actually I need to select first, make sure you select the leg you're interested in. So double click it so you get this dotted outline here, otherwise it might not work. So double click to get that dotted outline. Then let's go to this face, move it, and all the legs will all move in a slightly different way, but they will be doing exactly what we want them to do. So basically if they're out here like that, they'll all be going in the right direction. Now I'm gonna undo that, I want to do it. Um, I want to do it exactly the right the right distance. If I just let me just all bit out. Let me just zoom out a bit so we can actually see. That's perfect. Now let's. Now what we want the legs to do is go out three inches in one direction. No, not three inches. Sorry, um, uh, five centimeters in one direction, which isn't three inches by the way. Five centimeters in one direction, and then five centimeters in this direction as well. So five centimeters there, five centimeters there. So the leg ends up somewhere around here. So I'm going to. Click that face again, and you can see it's already starting to move. But now, what we want to do is lock the direction we're moving in. So I'm going to press um, the I press the right arrow there, and it's locked it in this direction. So I'm going to type in so I can only move in that direction. So I'm going to type in 0 0.05 meters. Press enter, and it's put all the f all the legs five centimeters out in a certain direction. I'm going to click it again. And now I'm going to press the um, that was the left key there to take it only in this direction. So I press the left key, taking it in this direction. So I want to type 0 0.05 meters in that direction. Now it doesn't look a bit wonky from there, but that is actually correct. If I zoom out and come around like this, you can see that all the legs have all gone to exactly where they were supposed to. Fantastic. Okay, I'm going to delete these guidelines because we no longer need guidelines. So, delete these. Now what we need to do now is make the cross beams that go across from one uh, leg to the other. So, 
This is a bit tricky. I'm going to show you what I... When I started playing around with this, I'll show you what I thought would work and I'll show you why it doesn't work. So don't do this because this doesn't work. I thought if I drew a rectangle on this face and then just pulled it across, that would work nicely. But it obviously doesn't because it goes down, goes down at an angle. So um, let me just show you something else. So if I actually have that selected. If I do it like this now, because I've actually got the leg properly selected, it's it's going to do it on all four legs. So if I now try and move this, oops, that one there, it's not white. It's that this isn't really correct because they're all going, they're all slightly wonky. So that is not how uh, we want the leg to. I mean, it looks quite cool, but it's not it's not what we want to happen. So let's undo that. Okay, so follow these instructions to, to get the legs to come out uh, perfectly. Okay, so we've got our stool. We're going to draw some crossbars going across, like uh, these bars here on the on the uh, diagram here. So to start with, we're going to get the tape measure tool, and we're going to start at this on any leg, but this bottom corner here. Start going up the inside leg there with this red dot, and I'm going to type that I want it to be at the height of forty. Well, I'm saying zero point four zero meters. Press enter. So that's taken from the there to there. It's 40 centimeters. And we'll do the same on the other side. Start there, click one time. Right, 0 0.40 meters. Oops, did I do that right? 0 0.40 meters. Press enter. Oh, I didn't think I clicked properly. So click and then 0 0.40 meters. There we go. So you've got a mark which is 40 centimeters up either leg. Now get the line tool and draw from there to there. And then we're going to go up this side at four centimeters. So zero, so it's already ready to do it for me, but um, you can see on the bottom left hand corner, bottom right hand corner, it says 0 0.04, so click to there, and drag it across. And you see the green line there, it should be following straight across to there, and then draw down to there. Ah, and no, I didn't do that properly, let me do that again. So starting this side, click one time, go up 0 0.04, and then from there, go across to there, and you should get the face come in like that. Now let's rotate up a little bit. If I click there and go across, now let me do change my direction here. If you can see, I want it to be in line with the red, the red axis there. And then I want to come down 0 0.0, uh, so click there, come down 0 0.4 come across like that so we should have a face there. If I rotate around so this is basically just let me say that again the measurements for a 0 0.04 at this point. I zoom in with the line tool. Now it should if you draw across follow the green axis to there come down to here come sorry that again click one time 0 0.04 Four, go across to there. It should meet up nicely. Now, if you if you if you don't like me, you'll find that you have oh, change that. You haven't got um, a face on the top or the bottom of this thing. It's because we haven't got a line. Basically, to be, to be able to draw a face, it needs to have uh, edges all along. Long. So connect that there to there. You have a top edge. Rotate underneath. Click from there to there. And you'll have one underneath as well. Now we're going to, we're not going to, have to, we don't have to redraw those cross beams again. So I'm going to select that face, hold control, that face, hold control, that face, and rotate around, hold control, make that face. And we're going to right click and make them a component. And it's going to be called a cross beam. Okay, now what we want to do, just like we did with the legs, is to instead of redrawing it, is to make copies going around. So if I come underneath like this, if I get the move tool, so the rotate tool, I should say, under the move, but go to rotate, find the middle edge here, hold shift, oh no, so click there. Oh no, no, don't click, sorry. Okay, so let me say that again. Get the rotate tool, find the midpoint, which is there. 
start drawing it in. Then hold shift and come down to on the midpoint there. So that means this point here is the center of the stool. Now click on the crossbar. and click control one time and you'll see it coming around like this it'll fit in perfectly there and then again type times three press enter and you'll have those crossbars magically appear like that now we're just going to hide the top of the stool we're going to draw some, um, some crossbars across the top as well we're going to hide this top of the stool bring it back later so i'm going to right click i'm going to click it right click and press hide it might make it a bit easier for us to complete the next bit so we need to do the same again. So take the tape measure from the top, come down 0.04 to there, and then bring it across to there, there to there. And again, we've got a guideline. Now that's going to help us in a minute. If we now take the draw tool, pair the line tool, click from there to there, we'll get a nice line. There to there, there to there. And there to there, mine didn't. Mine must have done mine already, but there to there. Okay, rotate around, and do the same on the inside. Now it should have a because you're already drawing one face. You can see as I come down here, it automatically snaps like that. And it's got the the red dot is where I'm starting, and the little grey dot in the background is showing me what it's in line with. So that's perfect. So bring that across like that, then up to there, cross that one again. Cross. and it's already done the top bit for me um, and I need to do it because it, there were some lines already there but do from there to there and then there to there there we go right so I'm going to select those so click that one hold control click that one rotate underneath hold control click that one rotate around to the other side click that one I'm going to right click make a component and call these top cross beams And then I'm going to do the same I did last time. Now this is going to be tricky uh, if I don't if I don't have the top of the stool to find as my centre. So I'm going to bring. So to unhide the top, go to the this, these uh, glasses here, and uh, you can pr press either hidden, uh, is it hidden objects? But we don't want to show it like that. Um, we want to show um, just show all there, unhide all. Okay, so then that should bring back the the seat. Now rotate underneath. In a bit. Right, bit tricky because we've got a lot going on here. Um, in fact, we could hide this if we wanted. That might make it easier. So if I hide that, hide that, hide this one. I'm gonna bring these back later. We're not deleting them. We're just hiding them. So I'm gonna click that one first. Go to my rotate tool. Go to the midpoint on this edge, and then bring it in. Oops, try that again. Bring it in. Now hold Shift on the keyboard. Bring it across until you find that midpoint. Just, sorry, yeah, again, I have left got to go the shift. Right, so bring it in this way without clicking anything, and then as soon as you're on the face, bring hold shift so you can move it. So you can see that pink highlight. Go across, find the midpoint, click one time. So you found your center rotation point. Now click the object you want to rotate. So that's going to start rotating it. But we were, what we actually want to do is press Control to make a copy of it. So hold Control, click there. But then we want to times. We want to write times three to do it three times. There we go. So it's created it three times. And now we can go back and show all again. Rotate around, and we've got a nice basic stool. Right, I didn't say basic. It's quite good, really. Um, so select all of it. I'm going to paint it. So there you go, a nice bar stool created in SketchUp.